Good morning, Mets fans, and welcome to a Friday edition of Driving with Mr. Met. I am Mr. Met, and uh, the Mets got off to a good start last night in D.C., uh, taking the first game of a four-game set with the Nationals, 5-4 to four in extra innings. Bonus baseball with just a handful of games left. It's always fun, especially when the bullpen comes in and blows the door off of the game. Uh, but I want to talk about uh, the start by Mr. Vargas last night. I want to talk about the offense getting against uh, getting uh, hits against Max Scherzer. And I want to talk about the bullpen once again. It was, uh, it was Max Scherzer on the bump last night for the Nationals for game one of a four-game set with the Mets. And uh, Scherzer was very good. I mean, um, I... I I've made it very clear. I'm not a big Scherzer fan. I, I just don't like him. I just don't, flat out don't like him. And I, I don't know if it's exclusively because he pitches for the Nats, who I detest, um, or if it's just him. I don't, I don't know what it is, but I just don't like the guy. Um, and I'm, I'm honestly tired of seeing him win the Cy Young. So uh, that's part, probably part of my disgust with him. But uh, I can't take away the fact that he's a brilliant pitcher and he pitched extremely well last night. 13 strikeouts, I think, was his total through six or seven innings of work. Um, he was good. I mean, you can't can't get around that. But wasn't as good as Jason Vargas. Vargas was better last night. Um, he also was racketing up the uh, the strikeouts. Uh, over his last seven starts, Vargas has uh, an ERA of 3.11. That's incredibly good. Uh, it's actually better than what we signed up for. You know, the Mets really wanted Vargas to be the number five guy in the rotation to provide some depth and to provide quality start numbers. You know, six innings, three earned runs. That's an ERA of 4.50. That 3.11 number is is uh, expects uh, three runs to be given up in an entire game. That's pretty damn good for a number five starter. So I'm not getting ahead of myself saying, boy, this is the Vargas that we're going to get next year. I'm not about to do that. But... Seeing the way he's finishing the season um, is encouraging. It's encouraging that maybe this wasn't a complete mistake to sign this guy to a two-year deal. Maybe he needed the first year to acclimate himself or something, whatever. Uh, but back to Scherzer, uh, he was good, but he wasn't good enough. And uh, it was Michael Conforto who got to Scherzer last night. Uh, Two-run home run. He set an individual single-season record for himself. 28 home runs now on the year. Um, that's the most he's ever hit in a season. Uh, he's got a legit shot at 30 with the way he's been hitting of late. So I hope he gets there. It'll be a great second-half turnaround story for Conforto. Um, and then, of course, uh, Conforto was followed by, by Ye Bruce in the lineup who hit a another home run, a solo shot. Um and given the Mets, gave the Mets at the time a 3 nothing lead. They would uh, go on to tack on another run, uh, ended up having a, uh, it was 3-2 at one point, and it was 4-2. And then, of course, um, Vargas came out of the game. Lugo came in and was good, but the rest of the bullpen, not so much. And it started with Anthony Swarzak, who I have now redubbed Anthony Swarzak. Uh, that's his name now. I'm not calling him anything else. I, I just... This, this guy's making a lot of money, a lot of money, and he has been terrible, 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 terrible. Um, I, I don't know why the guy had a good track record coming into this season, but he's just been awful. And I tweeted it last night, uh, and I'm going to say it again. Anthony Swarzak is the camel, the, the camel, the straw that broke the camel's back for me. I just... I do not want to see the Mets spending lots of money on bullpen help next year. I'm fine with going out and getting an established closer. That's different. But I don't want one of these bridge guys brought in and paid, you know, $22 million over three seasons only to have another swar suck on our hands. So we have enough swar sucks of our own. Um, Paul Seawald didn't pitch last night, but um, <laughs> he, you know, I, I just, these guys that, these guys that can't be trusted out of the bullpen, I don't want to see them getting money, getting paid. And, and how do we know if they can be trusted? The answer is we don't. Because as I've said before, year to year, it's so volatile with bullpen arms. Let's not spend a ton of money on the bullpen. Let's instead invest in a good closer 
and use the young arms that the Mets have established in their farm system and have built up in their farm system to be a, a um, constantly evolving bullpen throughout most of next season. That's what I'd like to see the Mets do with the bullpen. Um, in any event, um, long story short, the, uh, the Nationals did come back to tie the game uh, thanks to the fire that Swarsuck started. Uh, oh, and I, I have to I have to mention before I even get there to the extra innings and the Jose Lobaton uh, sacrifice fly to drive in the game winning run. Um, two two things to point out. Um, one, Anthony Rendon um, continues to own the Mets, and I, I asked the question of Michael Barron last night. Like this guy just Rendon is just so good against the Mets. I'm trying to think back, and I, I, I think I said it yesterday. I actually begged for it yesterday. Um, someone needs to brush this guy back. Just I don't. I'm not saying hit him, but just brush him back. Throw one up and up at his chin. Someone has to do something to say the Mets are not going to keep taking this laying down. You, we understand that you're killing us, but we're going to throw at you now. And we're not going again. I'm not, I'm not trying to injure him or hurt him or hit him or anything. Just send a message. Back him off the plate a half an inch. You know that that's. That needs to happen, and I, it hasn't happened, and it's why he hit the two-run home run last night, I'm, I'm sure. Um, he needs to be made uncomfortable at the plate. And until that happens, he's going to keep doing what he does to the Mets. Um, there's no other reason to believe that anything's going to change because we've never tried to brush him off the plate before. Brush him off the plate and see what happens. What's the worst that could happen? Oh, he's going to hit a home run in his next step bat? He already does that. So what do they have to lose is my point to that. Uh, anyhow, I wanted to mention uh, my buddy Rendon, who I refer to often as Rendon, because he doesn't have a little uh, accent on his O, so it should be Rendon, but that's neither here nor there. The second point I wanted to make about the game last night was Jacob Rehm, who um, I've been uh, very loud about the fact that I'm not a fan, uh, but he got the job done last night. He kept the Nats off the board, gave the Mets a chance to win. Good for him. Uh, doesn't change my opinion about him going forward. I, I don't want him on the team next year. Um, so uh, that'll be it for last night's game. But tonight we have Jacob deGrom on the mound. And he's facing off against Joe Ross for the Nats. Um, I I hope, I have a bad feeling. I'm going to just come right out and say it. I have a bad feeling about tonight's start for Jake. I don't know why, um, but I just have like this eerie feeling that the Nats are going to light him up for some reason. I don't, I don't know why I'm thinking that. Um, but I certainly hope that's not the case. Because if it, it, the alternative to that, and the other thing I'm thinking about is if he is able to do what he's done all season, which is pitch like the Cy Young, um, after seeing Scherzer basically come out of the game without a, a lead, not have a lead at all last night, um, yeah, he had the strikeouts, but he was losing for, for his uh, entire start. Um, to seek the de DeGrom come out and... Uh, dominate the Nationals the way that Scherzer couldn't dominate the Mets, to me, could be the final decision point for Cy Young voters. And uh, if that's the case, you know, fabulous. I just hope my gut instinct is wrong and that Jake is Jake. Is Jake and uh, he lights the Nats up uh, for 14 strikeouts and one-ups Max Scherzer and lowers his ERA to back under 1.7, if that's even possible at this point. So that'll be the last video of the week. Um, the Mets will be playing two more in D.C. I will be at the game tomorrow with the Seven Line Army. Back-to-back -back weeks with the Seven Line, which is great because I'm getting a cold. And this, you know, yelling tomorrow at the game is going to really add to the way my throat feels. So uh, that being said, I'll be back on Monday to recap the weekend. Um, I don't know that our parade tomorrow is going to be anywhere near as fun as the one in Fen at Fenway was last weekend, but I, I, can, I can sure say we'll try. So until Monday, thanks for watching. Follow me on Twitter at Mr. Underscore Met. And as always, let's go Mets.